In today's video, I'm going to talk about what to do when you get a woman to your crib. Because as a man, you want to have things in place. I'm going to take you through an imaginary scenario of what you should be doing when you have a woman come over to your crib. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell to let you know when I upload a video, go live, or post any content at all. As a man, you may be wondering, what do I do when I get a woman to, to my crib? What do I say? What do I do? This, this video is going to break all of that down. So get a pen, get a piece of paper, and take some notes. Because I'm going to give you the blueprint to a successful night with a woman. Number one, have the right atmosphere. You want to have your house clean, get a Swiffer, get a broom, sweep the floor, clean the floor, clean the kitchen counter, clean the refrigerator, make sure your home is spotless. Cleanliness is next to godliness. You want to have your house clean. Clean your house. Clean your bathroom. Clean your house. There is nothing more unattractive to a woman than an unkempt house. Clean it. Have the right utensils. What do I mean by that? Cups, plates, forks, knives. They're inexpensive, but you can get them. Guys, have a bed. Don't be a, a guy that's over the age of 30 and you don't have a bed. The woman's going to come in your house looking like. She's going to be shocked. She's going to be like, oh my God, he's 40 something years old, 30 something years old. And he doesn't have a bed. One of the most basic things that every man should have. I sentence you to 500 lashes for conduct on becoming a black man. And then you're going to look all puppy dog eyed because you're like, well, I didn't know. You knew that you needed a bed. No woman wants to have sex where you sing. You sit on the futon, you have sex on the futon. That is not attractive at all. Fellas, get yourself some glasses, some wine glasses, brandy glasses, cognac glasses, wine decanter, because you want to set the atmosphere of elegance. You want the woman to be comfortable enough to want to be with you at the end of the night. So when you're, when she's coming to your crib, she's looking for luxury. She's looking for opulence. She's, when a woman comes to a man's crib, she's looking for luxury. She's looking for upscale, high class, no red solo cup. She doesn't want to feel like she is a hood rat or a one night stand. Here's another tip, guys. Apple Music or Spotify. Have a playlist loaded up. So when she comes over, you can have the lights on. Have her take her shoes off. When she comes in the house, have her sit down. You whip out your phone. Turn on the playlist. Dim the lights, and then you have some jazz music playing, or some Teddy P, or some John Coltrane, or some coffee jazz. Like, even if you don't have a jazz playlist, if you have a smart TV, make sure you have a smart TV. You can go on YouTube on your smart TV and use a lo-fi or a coffee playlist. They have plenty of playlists on YouTube where you can just set it and go. But here's a better tip. Have the music playing before she even gets there. 
You want to set the mood of elegance, sophistication, and class. So that way when she comes, she feels like she just walked into a nice hotel or a nice bachelor pad or a nice upscale neighborhood. Even if you have an apartment, you can make that apartment feel like a five-star hotel. When a woman comes to your crib, guys, she cares about three things. Sight, smell, sound. Get yourself some candles. Go to TJ Maxx. Go to Burlington. Go to Ross. Go to Marshalls. Get some candles. Get some masculine candles, some leather, some fall scent. Bath and Body Works has marshmallow fire scent. I spray that scent in my house all fall long. It is a fall scent. Very classy, very elegant. Get you some of that from Bed, Bath and Beyond or Bath and Body Works. Also, guys... You want to have hors d'oeuvres at home. You want to have some light snacks, some fruit, some cheese and crackers. So you want to serve hors d'oeuvres when you have a woman come out. Stop giving women water in red Solo cups with ice. Get you some Perrier water. Bottled water. Very classy. Get you some bottled water, even if it's like Deer Park, Aquafina, Perrier, LaCroix. Go down the water section and pick an eight pack or a six pack of bottled water. And you should be drinking bottled water too. Don't just get it because a woman's coming over. You want to get it because that's what you drink. Also, guys, you want to have wine. You want to have wine, tequila, vodka. The white stuff is for the women. If you drink white stuff, you want to have your stuff, and then you want to have her stuff. Learn how to mix drinks. Get yourself a bartending kit. Go on YouTube and learn how to make simple drinks you want this woman to leave your house craving to come back this is the reason why losers and limes don't get women because their experience is garbage if you had the spirit of pookie and ray ray but you didn't have their negative qualities you would be unstoppable you you really would think about it why do women go after pookie and ray ray because they enjoy the thrill they enjoy the thrill of the Pookie and the Ray Ray. But they don't like regular men because they call you corny. So you have to have the spirit of Pookie and the negative things you don't have. You have the adventure. You have the spontaneous. You have the get up and go mentality. You have the hustle mentality. You have the get it how I live mentality, but you don't have the negativity that comes with it. So when a woman comes over to your place, she gets the full package and she leaves your house wanting more. She's like, dang, get some plates. As a man, you don't need to eat off plastic anything because what that shows a woman is that you're a man. You don't want a woman to come over to your house and feel like she's at a college dorm drinking out of solo cups and eating off of plastic plates with plastic forks and knives. You're, you're grown, so act like it. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of women don't want to deal with you losers and lame is because you don't give a woman a grown experience. You're too busy running after Pokemon and playing video games. That's the reason why a lot of you losers and limes don't get the women you want because you're not grown. You act like children and you're treated like them. After a certain age, you should want to grow up. You should want to do man shit. A woman shouldn't have to lay it out for work. Be a man guy. It's time to grow up. If this video helped you in any way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.